Hey, it's Dr. Centeno, and I have a good number of patients who have craniocervical instability, but they also have sort of standard wear and tear degenerative disc disease in the lower cervical spine. Now, usually, the lower cervical spine is not symptomatic because that's a pretty common thing that many of us get as we age, but sometimes it is symptomatic. And when we see that combination of an upper cervical issue that requires something like a PICL procedure and a lower cervical issue, then the goal is to treat both at the same time. And obviously for the upper cervical injury, we'd be doing PICL, but for the lower cervical portion, we would be doing things like injecting platelet growth factors between the nerve and the bulging disc, uh, tightening down those ligaments there to improve stability and or other things. For instance, if it's instability and extension, we can inject the anterior longitudinal ligament. It's even possible to inject the disc, although that adds more risk. But realize that it's very common for us to treat both the upper cervical spine and the lower cervical spine at the same time. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.